Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to solve exponential equations. Of course, there is a PDF file versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one, to solve e to the power of x is equal to 9. So what we need to do is we need to bring the x down. To do this, we need to take log on both sides. But then we know that from log law, log of a, a power of m is equal to m. So therefore, this is e to the power of x. So we need to take log by e. You can take any other base, but easier if you take log base e. Okay, so we can use the log law. Log of base a, a power of m is equal to m. We use this rule to help us out. So I take logs by e on both sides. So I just write log base e, e to the x is equal to, because I take logs by e on the left hand side, I need to do exactly the same thing on the right hand side. So log base e, 9. So therefore, logs by e and e, they inverse each other out. So therefore, we give me x is equal to log base e, 9. And this is the rule here log of a, a power of m is equal to m. Okay, so please do not forget that. So now, log base e9 is exactly the same as ln. Okay, so just remember that. Let me write this down. Log e9 is exactly the same as ln9. So now, I just put that on the calculator. So I just go ln9. That is log base e of 9. So there you go, 2, 1, 9, 7, 2, and so on. Let me just write this down. x is equal to 2.1971 and 2 and so on. So now we need to correct to two decimal place. So two decimal place means two number up to decimal point. So that is up to here. But then the number up to 9 is 7. So more than Five. So therefore, we need to add 1 to 9. So 19 plus 1 is 20. So therefore, the answer is 2.20. So therefore, x is equal to 2.20. Let's do part B. So same process. So what we need to do is we need to bring the 2x minus 3 down. So therefore, we need to take log on both sides. So because of e to the power of 2x minus 3. So therefore, we take log base e. Again, we use this rule here. Log of a, a power of m, the answer is m. So therefore, e to the power of 2x minus 3. So we take log base e. So log by e, e to the 2x minus 3 will give me log base e 12.5. So now we know that these two here is inverse each other out. So therefore, the answer is 2x minus 3. Okay. So the answer is 2x minus 3 is equal to log base e 12.5. So now what I do, I move the minus 3 on this side. So that is this move on the side becomes plus 3. So 2x is equal to log base e 12.5 plus 3. So now I can just divide by 2 on both sides. I can just divide by 2 here. I divide by 2 here. I can just put everything on a calculator. But I'm not going to do that, okay? I just type that on a calculator first. So I just clear this first. So I just type log base e of 12.5 plus 3 first, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you divide by 2 first or not, okay? We get the same answer. So I just go ln, don't forget, logs by e is exactly the same as ln, okay? So 12.5 and brackets plus 3. So 5.526, okay? So 2x equal 5.526 and so on. 
So what I'm going to do is I divide by 2 on both sides. So I divide this by 2. I divide this by 2. So therefore, x is equal to, so I just go answer, divided by 2. So there you go, 2.7628 and so on. So correct to two decimal place, so it should be 2.76. Because the number after 6 is 2, so less than 5. So the answer is 2.76. 2.76. So there you go. Let's move on to part C. So first of all, before we take lock on both sides, we need to get rid of the 15 first. In another word, we must get rid of the coefficients of e to the power 4x. So then we can take lock. Okay. So I divide both sides by 15. So let me just divide this by 15. And I divide this by 15. So that cancel out. So I just put that on a calculator. So 240, I divide by 15. So 16. So I write this down. So 16 is equal to 2 e to the 4x. So now I can take log on both sides. Now because of e to the power 4x. So I take log with base e. Okay. Again, remember log of a, a power of m is equal to m so therefore we need to take log base e so log base e of 16 equal e log base e e to the 4x and these two is cancel out so therefore on the left hand side is log base e 16 is equal to 4x to solve for x, which is divided by 4 on both sides. So I divide this by 4. I divide this by 4. Now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go. Logs by e of 16 is exactly the same as ln. 16. And then we divide by 4. So there you go. 0 0.693 and so on. So we correct to two decimal place. So therefore, the number after 9 is 3, so less than 5. So the answer is 0 0.69. So therefore, x is equal to 0 0.69. Part D. Again, so first step is we need to get rid of the coefficients of e to the power of 2x first. To do this, we need to divide by both sides by a. So I divide this by a. I. I divide this by a. I. Remember, we always have to get rid of the coefficients of e to the power of 2x first, okay? So now this cancel out and this cancel out. So e to the 2x is equal to 32. Now I can take log on both sides. So to take log on both sides, I take base e. Because log base e because of e to the power of 2x. Now remember, log base e is exactly the same as ln. So rather than write log base e, I can also write ln. So ln e to the 2x is equal to ln 32. Now ln and e, they cancel each other out. So we live with 2x is equal to ln 32. So now to solve for x, I divide by 2 on both sides. So I divide this by 2. I divide this by 2. So this cancel out. So therefore, x is equal to, so I just put that on a calculator. So I just go ln, that is logs by e, so I divide this by 2. So there you go. So 1.7328 and so on, two decimal place. So therefore, is 1.73, okay? So 1.73. So there you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through them with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up 
and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So part A. So I take log space E on both sides. So I can either write ln of E to the power 2x as log base E, E to the power 2x. They're the same, okay? So I just write ln. E to the power 2x is equal to ln 23. So therefore, these two are cancel out. So 2x is equal to ln 23. So if I divide by 2 on both sides, so this give me x is equal to ln 23 over 2. So now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go ln of 23 brackets divided by 2. So there you go. So correct to two decimal place, 1.57. Okay, because 1.56, but then the number up to 6 is 7. So more than 5, we add 1 to 6, so 57. Okay. So therefore, x is equal 1.57. There you go. Part B. So before we take log on both sides, of course, we need to get rid of this coefficient first. So in another word, I need to divide by 12 on both sides. Yes. So I divide this by 12. And I divide this by 12. So this cancel out. So therefore, e to the x is equal to, so I just write our fractions first, okay? So 72.5 over 12. Now I can take logs on both sides because e to the power of x, so therefore we take logs base e. So you can write logs by e of e to the power of x or you can write ln, okay? Whichever way you prefer, okay? So I, in this case, I just write log space e, e to the power x is equal to log base e, or you can write ln, so I'm just write alternate one so that you can see they're the same, okay? That's all it is. So 72.5 over 12. So therefore, these two cancel out. So x is equal to, so now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go 72.5 divided by 12 equal log or ln brackets. So there you go, 1.798 and so on. So two decimal place, so 1.79. But then after nine is eight. So therefore we add eight to nine, so which is 10. So in another word, 79 plus one is 80. So therefore, 1.80. So 1.80. There you go. Part C. So again, we first of all need to get rid the coefficients of e to the power of 5x first. So therefore, we need to divide by both sides with 4. And that cancel out. And 52 divided by 4 is 13. So I'll write 13 is equal to e to the 5x. And I take logs on both sides, so which is base e. So I can write ln, or you can write log space e. Nothing wrong with that, okay? So ln, e to 5x. And these two are cancel out. So that would give me log, or ln, 13 is equal to 5x. Now to solve for x, which is divided by both side by 5, okay? So I divide by 5 on this side, and I divide by 5 on this side. So now, therefore, x is equal to, so I just go ln of 13 divided by 5. So there you go, 0 0.51. Last one. First of all, we need to get rid of the coefficients of e to the power of 3x minus 5. So the coefficient is q. So therefore, we divide by q on both sides. And this cancel, and this cancel. So therefore, e to the 3x minus 5 is equal to 9. Now I can take logs base e 
on both sides. Okay, so I can either write log base E or LN. Okay, so in this case, so I can just write, let's just write log base E. Okay, however you write, it doesn't really matter. You can write log base E or LN, doesn't really matter. Okay, just letting you know. So E to the power 3x minus 5 is equal to log base E of 9. And then these two cancel out. So therefore, 3x minus 5 is equal to log base E of 9. Now what I need to do now is I move the negative 5 on this side. So it becomes positive. In another word, log base E of 9 plus 5. Okay, so 3x is equal to log base E 9 plus 5. So let me just put that on a calculator first, okay, before I divide by 3. Of course, you can divide by 3 straight away and still correct. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So in fact, let's just divide by 3, yes? So we divide by 3. So let's divide this by 3. So therefore, x is equal to, I just put that on a calculator. So I can just go fractions, log, which is log base E, ln. So close bracket and then plus 5, and we go down over 3. So there you go. So 2.399, and correct to two decimal place, so which is 39 plus 1, because the 39 after 9 is 9 as well, so more than 5. So therefore, 39 plus 1 is 40. So therefore, 2.40 is the answer. So therefore, x is equal to 2.40. 40. So there you go. I hope you got all of them correct. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.